Okay. When you're having a hard time and God leads you to something, okay? When it's saying people, it's really talking about demons in this, this verse. Just hear me out, okay? It's Matthew 5, 11. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my, my sake. But then you look at the Amplified Version. Blessed, morally courageous, and spiritually alive with life, joy, and goodness, God's goodness, are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil things against you because of your association with me. Okay. People carry demons or they carry God's spirit. But here's the thing. Some people got God's spirit, but they still got demons because they didn't get set free from that. Age to get, they didn't do deliverance first. They just came in and didn't change. If you do that, if you do not truly repent, you will still manifest demons. And the people around you live with are going to know it. They may not tell you, but they know it. And um, you want improvement. You want breakthrough fast. Fast for your spouse. Fast for your kids. Fast for your country. Fast for your neighborhood. You want improvement. You've got to be the one to do it. You've already prayed. You've done everything you need to do. Now, some of you, you may have medical conditions. I didn't used to have any problems. But since uh, the stroke hit me, I got attacked with last year, a year ago. Um, now I have to take aspirin. Okay? So I can only do certain increments. That's fine. God will still bless that and still honor that. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus that this... It's going to help anybody, Father God. I pray you reach who you want to reach, Abba, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray you bless and protect, direct and correct each and every individual that comes across this, whether they agree with it or not. I pray, Abba, Father, for a supernatural breakthrough, Lord Jesus. I pray for improvement. In Jesus' name. You do not have to agree. That's fine. You can scroll. But if you do agree, I ask you to take this to the Lord in prayer. This was given to me for my personal situations because the mantles that God has placed on me. I know I'm not the only one going through things in this world. I know that the body of Christ is immensely larger than I could ever imagine. And I just want to tell you that I love you. Blessed sisters and brothers. I just want to tell you that God hears you. Blessed brothers and sisters. I just want to encourage you, but I also want to tell you, repent. You want deliverance? Repent. You want breakthrough? Repent. You want improvement? Fast. That's it. That's it. That's, that's, I'm telling you, from the time I come to God, He told me, tell my people to repent. Every time something comes up, repent. He tells me when I need to. So if He's telling me to tell His people, He's telling me, because I'm part of His people. We are never exempt from the word that He gives us to share or to live. We are all to be good stewards of it. Everything He gives us, including His word. How can you be a good steward of it? He gives you a word, you do it too. He tells them to fast, you fast too. He tells them to repent, you repent too. Even if you don't realize what it is, ask God what it is. Church, come on! I'm ready for some Holy Ghost revival. Jesus, bring it. Hallelujah, I want it, Lord. Bless you. God bless. That's it for today.